In order to get really good with your computer, you're going to have to learn and master keyboard shortcuts. Um, learning keyboard shortcuts can be really daunting, so we're just going to start off with some of the most important shortcuts. And over time, you'll just read different tips or tricks or see different ways of learning more. And so it's something that you build on over time. But it is really important that you start to practice um, this mental mode of like, let me not jump to my mouse as soon as uh, I have to do a particular thing. Let me see if there's a keyboard shortcut for it. So I'm going to start you off with some of the basics. So right now, if we open up a new Finder window, um, if I click onto a particular file, and let's say I wanted to copy it, the keyboard shortcut would be Command C. Um, you have to hit it in that order. So it's Command C, and that copies. And then if you wanted to paste the file, let's say in the same folder, it would be Command V. And then it makes a copy, it renames it so that it doesn't have a, a problem with the same name in the same folder twice. Um, but copying and pasting using Command C and Command V is like your bread and butter. Like that's the keyboard shortcut you're just gonna have to get used to um, at all times. Another uh, sort of critical keyboard shortcut would be undo, which would be Command Z. And that sort of undoes your action. And sometimes it's Command Y and sometimes it's Command Shift Z that will redo an action. In the case of Finder and in the case of many programs, you can go to the menu and in this case it would be under Edit. You can see um, these different menu items and again I told you to avoid using your mouse and jumping to the menu but the nice thing is is that a lot of these programs will have the keyboard shortcuts so long as you know what these symbols stand for the arrow is shift and this weird squiggly pound sign is your command key on a Mac um, you'd be able to learn keyboard shortcuts this way so it's like oh I didn't know you could select all or I didn't know you can type in emojis and symbols by typing in this weird sequence of uh, keyboard shortcuts so you can always learn more keyboard shortcuts in this way um, a couple of other key uh, shortcuts, especially if working in your browser, but this works in Finder too, is that you want to sometimes open up another window or another tab. So in Finder, as so long as you're focused on Finder and you hit Command T, it opens up a new tab. Um, so you can switch back and forth uh, and navigate if you wanted to move files between back and forth. You have a way to open up new tabs. Um, if you wanted to open up a new window instead, that would be Command N. Um, which opens up a brand new um, finder window. And these shortcuts also work in uh, when you're browsing the internet in Safari or Chrome or whatever your web browser is of choice. And so those are shortcuts that you'll end up using a lot. Now let's say um, you don't need a particular window anymore, you opened up too many tabs, Command W would close a window or a tab. So if I'm in this particular tab and I'm saying I'm done with it, Command W and it closes the tab. So right now, let's talk about how to navigate between windows. So for right now, let's say I wanted to copy this particular file name for whatever reason. If you click on a file and then you hit Command C, so I copy the file name. Now I want to open up a program just to paste in that information, let's say like a notes program or something like that. So I'm going to type F4 and type in notes and hit enter. And again, I've done that all just using my keyboard shortcuts. And then I want to save that particular name. So I'll hit Command V. Okay. Now let's say I wanted to switch back into my Finder to manage between windows without having to use your mouse to click back and forth. Once I'm in a particular program, I can hit Command Tab and it opens up this, this little like overlay that shows you all the different programs that you currently have open. And here I'm holding on to Command and constantly hitting Tab and it cycles between them. So once I land on a program that I want, I let go of command, and it switches over to that window. So again, command, tab, opens up this um, little overlay, and when I let go, it switches over to that program. And it's not ordered consistently, it's ordered by the programs you most recently used. So if you just wanted to quickly switch to the last window you were using, you just have to hit command, tab, without even looking, and it'll automatically switch you over. So to show you that command tab, command tab, and you don't even see the overlay just because if you do it quickly enough, it's just like, okay, I'm just gonna pop you over to the previously used program. Um, one thing to note, if you have multiple windows of the same program opened, so back in Finder, I hit command N, and I have another window open, command N, I have another window open, and I want to switch between those different windows, command tab won't help me because command tab 
only has one instance of that finder open. It's the one program, but there are multiple windows in the, within that program. So I can't use Command Tab for this purpose. If you wanted to switch between different finder windows, you would hit Command and your tilde key. So Command, tilde. And here, no overlay. It just starts to rotate between them. So I'm holding on to Command, and I hit tilde, and it's just rotating between them. So learning these keyboard shortcuts is very, very critical. It may seem daunting in the beginning, but the more you practice it, it really becomes muscle memory and you just will be able to do these things automatically. And it's the only real way for you to become very fluent with using your computer.